that on Jekyll Bay? Hey, 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 Monday, Monday, Monday. It is Monday, January the 6th, maybe? No, it's January 7th because it is the big title game between Alabama and Clemson tonight. So that should be fun. Anyways, um, real quick, only have three patterns to show you guys today, so should, we should be able to get out of this video in like five minutes or less. But something that's a little bit different today that I don't normally always show you guys is stuff that's on brand name baits. These are like Pro-Line repaints for customers that only want to fish the brand name stuff, which is fine. Um, there's some stuff that, that swims very well as a replica and some stuff that people just, they want to go with what they trust. They have the confident baits and um, this, is, this is some of those orders. So this is a KVD 1.5. This is a repaint in a sassy gill. Um, and you can see just a little bit of the paint. Now, one thing that I get asked all the time is when I'm doing Pro-Line repaints, do I sandblast or scrape or any of that? If it's a, what in the world? It must be time to test. We're going to pick this up when this stops, because that's crazy. Okay, so I'm listening to this streaming channel out of uh, Killington, Vermont area. It's uh, blacksheepradio.org. It's a not-for-profit, which is pretty much all I listen to these days because I'm... For real? Seriously? It's just a test. It doesn't mean anything. So please don't jump up and think that there's something going wrong with this video. Anyways, um, what we were talking about is people ask me if I sandblast the paint or scrape anything off of brand name baits no i do not um i buy the lightest color of whatever bait now strike king does make a nude series but not always in the 1.5 and 2.5 square bills that i've found they do in their jerk baits um this is a kvd deep jerk bait and then uh, the other one is a bomber long a and these are in alawife um, very cool patterns, very simple patterns, just a little bit of a mint green, and I mix that with a opaque sky blue and a pearlescent lime green, and those are both Createx colors that I mix with that. A um, little bit of black magenta on the eyes, and then we have the Wicked color line that makes up the bulk of this bait, which is just, uh, it's like a pearl white and a um, burnt orange and burnt umber. And then we we shoot or we I shoot uh, a very light mist of pearlized white again over everything before I put it in clear coat. So this particular bait and these were all shot together. And then I've got a bunch of uh, the sassy gills over here that were shot on a couple of different baits. But again, going back to the square bills and the brand baits, get as light a color as you can and. Um, just just paint through that now if you're going to be paint and and i what i what i recommend is if it's not a very light color like the like for whopper ploppers they have a powder which is pretty much just a white anyway so that's an automatic base coat but if it does have color on it like you can see just a hint of yellow then my recommendation is to hit it with a prime color hit it with a white or a black before you start spraying it um, and then the only reason that this shows through at all is because of where I taped it because I take pretty great care to make sure the corners of all my bills, if I have a build bait, it's not a lipless, are taped just to give you that clean line. I don't like seeing <laughs> one piece of tape across this and then you've got paint on the back side of these bills. I just, just clean it up a little bit. I'm real OCD about that. The same with this. Now this is a little bit less noticeable um, because this is a lime green fading into the exact same yellow. I bought a bunch of the exact same kind of bait um, for this order. So, but you'll notice that there's little to no paint on the underside of this bait. And just, just cool, simple patterns. Now this one is a replica and it is on a DT10, 
which you would say, well, DTs, they are, whoops, they are, um, those are Rapplas, and it's not a Rappala, it's a replica. So you, you really want to be careful, like I said in the last video, of what you call this thing. But this is in a sassy gill. Um, starts with a bone base and then fades up to a burnt, uh, burnt orange. And then a plum on the back. And this is a Spectratex shot metallic blue across it. And then this is like an iridescent pearlized plum with a real dark brown, sepia brown, with darker brown mixed in to create the lines. And it, and it is a stenciled line. All, you'll notice that all the lines are the same. So that's what I got for you today. Oh, almost forgot about this little guy. This is a, a new warp pattern. It's gonna be added to the lineup on www.jekyllbaits.com. Really digging this little guy. It's got that outline crawl pattern. The very simple, this this is, you know, it, it's an older style hard stencil, 3D stencil from um, Lure Color Studios from Jonas. But this is just like the neatest stencil pattern for a crawl. Um, and it's still very effective and it gets the job done. And when you can shoot off like the, the brown and then contrast that with your accent colors that are bright. So this is like a fluorescent yellow that actually fades down into a fluorescent red at the bottom. Um, and you try and you can see that fade just a little bit if I can get the camera to zoom in on it where it goes from light to dark. And the way that you can achieve that is when, once you put that hard stencil on, just go ahead and, and shoot a white prime and dry, heat set that, and then shoot your colors. And as long as you're not blowing paint real hard, you should get a pretty decent layer and uh, able to achieve the contrast regardless of what your lure color, your base color is on that. So that's what I've got for you today. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week. Don't worry, the spray sessions are coming. We're gonna get back in the groove. It's out of the holidays. Still have the big bass speed painting that I haven't got to. Folks, I had to force myself to get out of the studio and out of the shop yesterday. So I went fishing for a little while, had a blast. Um, we caught a few and just really had a good day. And I'm actually gonna take a full day off tomorrow and do the same thing with my buddy CJ. So we're gonna shoot a video tomorrow and uh, we'll have hopefully some good fishing stuff and hopefully some jackal bait stuff to show you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Enjoy, spring is right around the corner. So be thinking about tournament season, be thinking about what spring baits you want me to spray in some spray sessions. Leave me a comment below and I'll see you soon. Love you guys, mean it, bye. Oh, it's running with you. It's running you around. That's decent. That's decent. It's flippable. Uh, don't think I'm going very well. But it's a kill. Look how fat these bellies are. They, I swear they look like they're pre-spawn. This is the craziest thing ever. I've got a pliers if you need them. Is that on the Jekyll bait? Yeah. Oh, my favorites. Well. Let's get a little bit. Can little I get gilly. a picture? Yes, you bet. I'm recording now, but. Okay. Awesome. And we're going to stop recording and I'm going to grab a shot. Beautiful.